dive straight into today's tutorial. I've already traced out the pattern from the basic scale that we created initially. So, in case you don't know how to create a basic skirt, I would advise you to look for the video or I can drop it in the description box for you to watch the basic skirt. Watch how to create a basic skirt pattern before you attempt this. This is just like a variation of a basic skirt. So, I traced out the basic skirt for the front pattern. This is the front pattern, the waist, the head, the knee length. So from the waist to the knee, for the front pattern, same for the back, I traced it out. The only thing I did was to extend the basic skirt pattern. The basic skirt we created was just the knee length from the waist to the knee. That was the basic skirt. But because we're doing a variation of, we're doing skirt variation, I have to extend it to the skirt length and please know when you're doing any variation it's advisable you extend your basic pattern before you go into the variation so now i've extended the knee length to the end line so it's not going to stop on the knee all right if your variation is knee length you don't need to extend it what i'm trying to say is make sure you have the exact skirt length that you want before you go into variation. Alright, so I've extended it. The step length is going to be like 35. Yes, okay. So this is what we're working with. We're going to, the waist is 35, the hip is 41. And the step length is 35 inches. 35 inches. And I'm looking at using 2 to 3 inches for the skirt band. Is your choice depending on what you want? You might do more than three inches you can even do less than two inches so i'm looking at using two to three for the skirt band and also you can do facing you might not even need to put a band on your own skirt so it's your choice but i'm showing you what i want to do if you're comfortable with this you can also apply it or you might choose what you feel comfortable with all right so let's go straight so this is what we're looking at the skirt length is 35 the waist is 35 the eve is just for this pattern when we change the basic to the variation we're working with the hip it's not even relevant again because it's not like it's going to be fitted on the hip i just put the hip measurements there for you to know what we have on the basic scale and please know the pattern does not have any seam allowance it's when we finish that we add seam allowance to our pattern or we we'll add it to fabric whichever one that's convenient for you so i have my basic pattern ready extended to the length that i want we're looking at half circle half circle Full circle is 360 degrees, so half circle should give us like 180 degrees. So we have different ways of achieving an half circle. Because I'm using pattern, I'm just going to extend my dart straight from here, from the tip of the dart. I will extend it straight to the end line. I will slash it. If I want to add more fullness to the end line, I will spread it out more. If I don't want to, if I'm comfortable with the fullness that I have, then I'll go ahead and secure it. That's all. I'll do the same for the back pattern. It's as easy as that. That's one method. Let's flash it. Fold your dad very well, you're going to miss out on some fullness. So, this I 
podernou brát. You can use paint, you don't have to take it. You can use paint too, you can use paint. And you can equally cut out the dots. So I will use that method for backing. You just see the method. So this is it. I have my fullness. I'm going to secure this premise. I'm going to put this component and secure it. So, I've added fullness to it. I close the dots, like I said, I close the dots and here is the fullness to the end line. You see the end line. So, for some of us that might want it thinner than this A shape, what you need to do is to add more fullness. Just slash it again. But when you're slashing it, please be mindful of your waist. You're slashing it through the waist. You're not going to slash it through. You're just going to get to the waist. So I'll just take a line from there. I'll roll it straight down to the end line. That's it. Just to the end line here. Then I will slash it again. Slash it again. Okay. My waist is still on the waist. And if I want to take out my band, I'll measure my band out from here. I'm not going to add joint band to it. I'm measuring my band out. From here. So I'm looking at doing two to three inches. So let me just do, let me do two inches. Let's do two inches. Two inches. Measure my band. Two inches. Two inches. it out okay now this is how to square out you need a balanced ruler this ruler obviously is not balanced if you look at it it's not balanced but let me just use it to explain you need a balanced ruler so this edge this edge i will align this edge with a straight line so i'm going to align it with this straight line with this my apron then i will move so that's the straight line that I have to square out. Then I'll come to this down part and also align it with this straight line on the knee. But this may be really not, it's not even balanced. But I'll just use it to show you. What I'm trying to achieve is to ensure that this aligns with this knee. Then I will draw my straight line. Same thing. You 
use the end line to align it. Just assume that this is straight because of my ruler and that. Because I've tried the fonts and added and that things, I can also come here and add another things to the side. If I want so it must be straight. If I want it on the back side, put on the back side. If I want more even. I can put on the side thing, but I feel that too is okay. I don't want to waste too much time. I said earlier that I want to show you how to cut out the So I'm going to cut from one of the sides of the bags. I cut one of the sides. The steel slash and spray. I slash it out and I'm going to spread it. Center front. So 
this is the center front. I align the center front with the folded part. So I'm following the shape of the band. I'm not forcing my band to look straight or stay straight. So I'll just allow the shape to fold. Then I'll pin it down. So that's it. I'm going to add seam allowance here. Seam allowance here. Then I can now add extension here. If I want the band to lap, if I want it to lap, I will add extension here. But I want to take my Z straight from the skirt up to the band area. I will add only sewing allowance here. Same allowance. I will take that and if I want my band to lap after sewing, I will add extension here. If like one, one and a half, depending on how long you want it to lap. So if you don't want it to lap, you want your Z to get to the band from the skirt just add only zipper allowance and that's fine so let me add some allowance now Thank you. 